What's up guys, Tricky here and welcome to another Pokemon TCG Online video. I'm joined with my girlfriend. Yo guys. And today's deck is a Mega Houndoom deck, which looks quite quite consistent. What what do you think of it so far? I mean I like the look of it. Obviously I'm not using the Ancient Tree Ente, which obviously you suggested to use that. This is Dark Espion's deck once no, again. That one's a good one. Look, cause you obviously burning raw yeah, on the yeah. attack. So let's get into the deck analysis. We'll start from top left, bottom right, like we normally do. So we start off with two shamans, obviously the ability, the um, setup ability to draw the cards. So I guess it's the yes, setup Pokemon. Um, two Entei, not the Asian traits, the normal one, it won't let me right click for some reason. And obviously we're going to focus on the, I guess, Burning Raw. So obviously you discard the top four cards of your uh, deck. And if any of those are fire energy, attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So very, very nice. And obviously the second attack is this attack does 20 damage for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So if they've got a full bench, it's only two energy for an attack, so very, very nice. And then we, then we get onto the, I guess, Houndooms. So how many are running? Three Houndoom EX. Um, I guess we're not going to really attack with this. I mean, we could do. We could use the second attack, attach um, a fire energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Very, very nice. Or discard two of your opponent's. Uh, two cards in your opponent's deck very very nice and then obviously the mega houndoom which we're going to be focusing on is 80 plus um you may discard all fire energy attach this pokemon if you do this attack does 80 more damage so that's 160 overall if you add a muscle band i don't think i run any muscle bands in this uh do i nope yeah so it'll do 160 so that will probably do quite a lot of damage to any any pokemon yeah. um but if, if if I don't if I don't discard him, it'll only do eighty damage, but still very 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 nice attack. And we'll get onto the burning energy in one second, which is the energy at the bottom. And um, we're going to be running two Litleo. I chose that one because of the raw. I guess you can roar him out. Um, and then obviously two Pyro. Now I'm not using the um flash fire Pyro, is it? It's not that one. It's the obviously the flare command one. Obviously once during your turn before you attack. You may discard an energy card attached to this Pokemon if you do switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with his or her active. So very, very nice. So I guess it's kind of like Lysander. It's kind of like um, Genesect as well. Yeah, it's Genesect, but obviously. Yeah, yeah, that's very, very nice. And obviously now we, we run running the three battle compressors just to get the energies out or any other supporter card that we need or other cards that we don't want to draw if we're getting, you know, a thin deck. Um, 4 Mega Turbo just to get the energy from the discard pile after using the Battle Compressors. Um, 3 Trainers Mail just to get any supporter cards or any trainer cards, anything we want. Uh, 4 Ultra Balls to get out basically any any Pokemon that we want. Probably Shaman most of all because obviously you want to draw cards and obviously of course the Houndooms as well. Uh, 4 VSC could just to get back the Blacksmiths, um, Giovanni's Scheme and so on and so forth. Any supporter card really so yeah running two blacksmiths which this card is very very vital in this deck obviously if you discard too many energies this blacksmith you can basically set up in one turn and that's what and attack straight away so i do think you might nice need another one but we'll see how it goes well four vs seeker should be all right yeah. four giovanni's scheme obviously dark espion loves this card say that every video that i make but i i really do as well obviously the extra 20 damage helps so much in tight situations Four Sycamore just to discard the hand, and then obviously the Scorched Earth. Once during your, once during each player's turn, that player may discard a Fire or Fighting Energy card from his or her hand, and if, if the player does, he or she draws two cards. So it's very, very nice. Obviously, I can discard the energy, and then obviously get it back with Mega Turbo and so on and so forth. And uh, three Mega Houndoom Spirit Links just to get the Mega Houndoom out of our ending our turn. Now we're going to be using four of these special energies. Obviously, this card can only be attached to fire Pokemon. This card provides fire energy only while this card is attached to a fire Pokemon. This card, uh, I think, obviously, if it's not attached to the fire Pokemon, you have to discard it. Um, uh, I can't remember. If the card is. is discarded by an uh, attack. If this card is yeah, if this card is discarded by an uh, an attack of the fire Pokemon, this card is attached to. Um, Attach this card from your discard pile to that Pokemon after attacking. So basically, it's good for Houndoom. If you discard the energies with the attack, you get it straight back on the Pokemon. And then obviously, eight fire energies. So that's basically it for the deck analysis. So let's get into a few games and we're back in a moment. 
Okay, we are back and we are against Mr. Burnsy12. So I'm guessing he's going to be a burn deck. A fire Good deck. <laughs> Mr. Burnsy12. And I won the coin flip, so yes, obviously I'm going to go first. Oh, nearly clicked it now then. So let's see what he's actually running then. Obviously, he's got a fighting sleeve, so I'm guessing a fighting deck. But he's also using a psychic coin. He's using a psychic coin? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how do you know it's upside down? Because I saw it when it was flipping. Alright. Oh, I'm guessing fighting. Yeah. Just because, obviously, I think I was right. Um, what I'm going to do, obviously, attach an energy. Um, Ultra ball out. You've only skiing um, an energy. Uh, what should I go for there? Should I go for Hound Doom and Sick? Yeah, I'm gonna go for Hound Doom and Sycamore. Just some. Are you sure? Yeah. Wait, how many Megas have I got? Two. Two in there. So the two of them are my. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, yep, so put Hound Doom. Yeah, because obviously I run for, for uh, VSC. Uh, could actually just VSC cut the Givant, yeah, I'm going to save that then just in case. Yeah, yeah do that. Yeah, VSC cut up the Givant. And then Blacksmith so for next turn to, so you can attack. Yeah, that's what I'll do then. Sometimes I don't want to discard them, so there's no point. Might as well put it to use and obviously draw the five card, well, three cards and hopefully get the... Ooh, got everything I need then to attack next turn. Yep. Obviously I might, I might just sick him all next turn and I should end it there then. So I'm guessing he's running a fighting deck. I'm not really seeing what else he's got. Obviously, he's going to have Lucario. Guarantee it. A lot of people have been using that lately. Oh, bats. So you're right about bats the psychic. And, yeah, bats and Lucario. I mean, I used to play a Minetric deck quite a lot, so I've never really bothered about bats. Because obviously, Rough Seizures gets rid of all the damage. Yeah. I mean, they're kind of, kind of pointless. But against decks that don't have healing abilities, it's, uh, it's quite annoying. So he's using Karina then, so he's going to get a fighting Pokemon and an item card, and he gets Professor's Letter, so very, very nice there. I guess he's going to uh, obviously use, obviously hit me for 60, it's quite a big attack just for one energy. Mm -hmm. Just Ultra Ball out two Lysanders, wow. Shaming maybe? Yeah, I thought so. Everyone just has that shaming. Everybody uses it. No one likes the Octillery. <laughs> what are they doing in a water deck? So Just he's, he he's gonna hit me. It. Yeah, I know it's it's a shame that. Oh, scoop up. I'm gonna scoop up the shame. I know he gets heads. Shaming. Yep. So he's gonna hit me for sixty. And guess he's trying to get the muscle band. It's two extra cards. He might as well. And he got he got the muscle band in one of them. So he'll be able to hit me for eighty. And I'm pretty sure I should be able to. If, oh, I can actually Giovanni scheme to knock him out next turn. Do you reckon I should do that or blacksmith? Or Sycamore. Um, well, Blacksmith you can use afterwards because you'll need to put another energy on. Or you can start setting up your other hand mm. in. Oh, actually, no, I don't need to use Blacksmith. Because my attack gives an energy back, so using Blacksmith would be a waste. Whereas if I attack for 50, it won't wait. Is it is one weakness to yeah, that? Yeah, well, you can't use that anyway because you're not mega hand in. That's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is uh, save your. Yeah, but I'm, I, there's no point me drawing anything. I might as well just use Giovanni Schemes. So I get an extra 20. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Giovanni Schemes obviously very, very vital. So, oh, they ch chose the top one then. Yeah, may as well knock him out here and then get the extra um, extra energy from the discard pile onto my Pokemon. And next turn, possibly sick him all out. Get a brand new hand. And I get a prize card as well, so hopefully I get maybe an energy or something. Burn limbs would be nice. Or a spirit link. Ooh, ultra ball. Ultra ball. Yeah. Not bad, because I can just... Obviously, I'm going to sick them all the hand anyway. Yeah. Might as well go for a shaman and try to get those spirit links. Alright, so he's only done 80 to you. Ooh, so he's going to hit me for 80 again. 160. Ooh, is that knockout? Yeah, knockout. Oh, 20 damage. Alright, okay. So, yeah, he's definitely knocked me out here. Not too bothered about that, because obviously I've got the other... Other Houndoom and obviously got Blacksmith, get the energy, or maybe draw into an energy. Ooh, Hex Maniacs, I'm not going to Ultra Ball out for that then. Wait, did he use that Hex Maniac? No, he did that. Wait, yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah. Alright, oh, okay. Hmm, definitely going to go into the Houndoom then. Should be able to take him out from here. Energy, Mega Turbo, Ultra Ball, Blacksmith. Should I risk it or should I just 
go ahead and you'll last a turn and I will last a turn should I just sick them all then I mean I could ultra ball out for something first yeah yeah ultra ball out for something first let's see what I can grab uh, I can't use the shaman because obviously he used uh... oh, I can't really get anything then can I Hmm. I don't think I really want. Should I I'll just fail search? And I can't use the shaman because he used the uh, what's it called? And I may as well sick him. Or hopefully I get an energy here. Yeah, I do. Of course I do. And a battle compressor as well. Very very nice. Shame I can't use the ultra ball for anything. But I'm, I can set up the what's it called when I bench the MP. I know, I can't knock him out, can I? Wait, 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 don't attack yet. Use your uh, trainer's mouse see if you can get the stadium card. Why do not Oh, yeah. Because he does an extra 20 damage. Oh. Blacksmith. Yeah, go for the blacksmith. 20 damage, it's only going to hit me for 100, isn't it? 120. I can only hit him for 50, but we'll be able to set up the bench. Wow, I can't get the Mega Hound Doom out. Hmm. 50. Yeah, I needed that Giovanni scheme. I know. Can't use it now, though, can I? 50 damage should be alright. And uh, obviously, Entei's gonna have to be my MVP then. I only need two energy anyway. Gonna run energy in hand. Could possibly use back Blacksmith. Might, ultra, might uh, how many cards? 32 cards left. Mm. You won't be able to knock me out, can 120. you? 120. Ooh, Are you 140. looking for a. Wait, no, 60, 80, 100, 120, yeah, he's looking for a muscle band. No, it can't be. 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 120 for fight stadium. 120, don't think he's got it. Hmm, not bad then. 120 will leave me 140, 30, and then obviously I can uh, evolve, maybe. Definitely need need another hound do maybe the prize card. Need that to be the Hound Doom EX. Can't be two of them. Well, one of them's prize and then one Mega's prize as well. He's already took one out. Yeah. Ultra Ball. Oh, yeah. Muscle Band, sorry. Got the Muscle Band as well. Yeah. 24. I can still. Entei's going to have to be a man. Oh, MVP. we did put it on him, though. Did he not? No, he put it on the one on the bench. Why? He would have knocked me out, wouldn't he? No. Would have 10 or 20 left. I can't remember. Really? 60, 70, 80, 100, 120, 140 would have hit me for. Yeah, he would have knocked you out. He's gonna knock you out now. He just attacked. No, he didn't. He used bats. Oh, he did, didn't he? 120, 170, yeah, knocked me out. Wow. <laughs> Go on, Ente. You gotta do it for me here. Burning energy, don't really need you at the moment. I can use shaming now, but I don't really need to. Fail search and put battle compressor or get rid of some things. Maybe, get, maybe use battle compressor to get rid of some stuff. Uh, I need battle compressor. Battle compressor. Have you got a VS seeker so you can use something? I'm gonna get rid of the battle compressor because at the moment I can't use them. Mm. No, let's get rid of them. Um, VS seeker. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I can 120 no matter what. You uh, need something. <laughs> we'll put Shaman on the bench. Put two. Two cards, yeah. Just, uh, just so I have them, and that's fine. I mean, don't really need to use anything yet. I can probably get Giovanni's scheme. Nah, I don't really need it. How about you took out both Houndoom straight away? Mm. No, drew him into a Mega Houndoom yet. Hmm. Don't need it though. May as well hit him for Combat Blaze for 120. See, those um, Giovanni schemes are very, very vital. Got the Ente. Ente's gonna have to be the MVP here. Then. <laughs> I mean, I should be able to hit him for quite a bit. 20, 40, 60, 80. I can hit him for 80 at the moment. I think it 20, oh, 100, because obviously I do 20. He got rid plus. of most of his fighting energies anyway. So yeah, he might no. have one left. Oh, there's the AZ. He's gonna pick up. Sh oh, oh, bats. Okay, then. Hmm. Should have battle compressed out of Lysander just in case. That's what I should have done. Yeah. But let's see what I draw into here. Sycamore, don't really need it. May as well set up this Entei then. Start setting up this Entei. I'm going to use Blacksmith on him. 
Yeah. No, actually. No, no, just in case I pick up a Houndoom. Yeah, so wait. You can put um, an extra 20 damage on him with a Giovanni skill. Yeah, I could, couldn't I? But there's no point because it's still going to be a two, two hit knockout anyway. Yeah, fine. So I mean, I think Combat Blaze for 100. It's going to be a two hit knockout and he can only hit me for a little bit next turn. So I'm guessing like this Houndoom deck just turned into <laughs> Entei being the MVP. That that I guess that's why it's in here though. Obviously it's there to cover I guess the kinks you want to call it. Obviously you took out both Houndooms very very quickly. Yeah, not every game goes to plan, does it? Not every game goes to plan. Like, like I said, every 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 video I, I say you have to adapt. Yeah, he'll um, definitely knock you out this turn. How? Sixty? No, he won't be able to knock me out he this turn. He's got another energy on. What do you mean, another energy on what? I thought he was going to put the bats thing on you, but he put it on Shaman. He still can't knock me out anyway. I thought he was going to put it on... Oh, no. It should be game here. If Oh, I should, I should have battle compressed out of Lysander. I could have been able to hit him quite hard. Oh, he needs to... Okay, then he needs to... Um... Actually, I don't, I, didn't, I don't think I saw the Lysander in the deck when I looked through. But if I take him out, I get two prizes, two left, and that Shaman's going to be up for an attack, so... If I pick up the Houndoom after I kill this guy, this uh, Lucario, then obviously I can set him up with a Blacksmith. And then, yeah, it should be good to go. But let's see what he does. So, Muscle Bands, he's going to hit me for 50, I believe. He doesn't put an energy down, so yeah, 50. Um, not bad. I mean, I'm surviving with Ente, the legend himself. Uh, Scorched Earth, you might as well. Yeah, may as well go for Scorched Earth. I'll get it. Uh, Spirit. We don't have a... Yeah, I don't have a, a Mega anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go for Scorched Earth just because, obviously, the extra damage on the EXs isn't good. And I will be able to knock him out this turn. Uh, may as well attach this energy. And we should be alright from there, then. I mean, I can hit him for 120. Mm -hmm. And he can't knock me out, so yeah. May as well knock him out. Very, very nice card, this Ente. Took out an EX with no problem. Two prizes come on. Be the Houndooms. Yes. Yes, no <laughs> way. Oh, that <clears> is great. And you got Blacksmith to set him up. And I got Blacksmith to and set him up. And then Seeker if you attack. Yeah, that's amazing. Ooh, I think he's aiming for that Shaman, you know. Yeah. He, still, he won't be able to knock him out anyway for a while. Obviously, he needs another, like, 70 damage. So, not too bad. So, this game quite close i mean if i draw a lysander it should be game i think he's got a crowbar in his hand though hey it doesn't matter he still can't knock me out hey, he does have a crowbar in his hand he does but we shall see i mean i can set up a houndoom this turn or oh i can't set him up can i i can knock him out with ente this turn hopefully get a spirit link that'd be awesome yeah i have to wait a turn anyway but we shall see. If I get a Lysander now, it should be game because I can just bring into. Oh, what's he got here? Has he got the um? The what's it called? The, oh, he's got Lysander in there, hasn't he? he? Discarded two at the start. Well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he did discard the two. I don't know what he went for then. Oh, Az. Oh, picks up the Shaman. Fair enough. And uses the Shaman. I wonder what he's looking for. Energies. I think for that special energy. I think he's burned through all those energies though. I would have kept focusing on Entei just to knock him out. But he's trying to be greedy and go for the prize card. I mean, he needs to hit me with yeah. 40 damage. Which then again, it's not going to be that easy. Do you easy, have an AZ? No, you don't. Um, I think I do no. run one. You only run three supporters. Do I? Yeah. I do run the Lysander, don't I? Yeah, I do run the Lysander. I'm pretty sure of yeah, it. Yeah, you do. If not, then that's obviously have to go in this deck. Ooh, he does switch out. Oh, I do get an energy as well, so I might as well discard that energy. I don't need it at this time. Put the Houndium on the bench. Come on, Lysander, please. Oh, Giovanni, scheme. Trainer's mail, Giovanni. actually. Come on, Lysander. Or an easy. Spirit Link, as well. Spirit Link, that's fine. If he has the lights on the next turn, he should be able to knock me out. That's the problem. I don't have the AZ and I can't heal. That sucks. Uh, blacksmith this turn then. 
She had a blacksmith this turn. Yeah. But he's got a cr oh, crowbat. Mm, he still can't knock me out. Yeah, I'm going to blacksmith. Grab both these energies. Onto my. I wish I got the Lithio out before. I could obviously bring him in and uh, discard an energy. Yeah. But I don't have one. Got nine cards left. May as well hit him with combat blaze for 120. Uh, I need that Lysander, but I do. I'm guessing I'm, I'm, I don't run too many of them in this deck. Is because of the uh, obviously the Pyro. I've not managed to get it out. He will be able to do 30, so I'm on 10 HP. 10 HP. Does he have the Lysander to bring me in and probably knock me out? Yeah, he does, but does he have the energy though? That's the problem. Oh, he decides not to go. Wow, it should be game here then. It should be. Oh, I got a VSC, I could retreat anyway. So it's Actually, no, I could use. That's what I should have done, shouldn't I? Retreated, gone into that, blacksmithed it, got the cards back. Yeah, you should have just. Oh, scoop up. I'm guessing he's going for it. Tails. Oh, another scoop up. Oh, tails again. <laughs> he doesn't really. Oh, three scoop wow. ups. Another tails. Wow, he gets heads. And he picks up the Lucario. Wow. Ah, so he's trying to trying to stall me out then. I mean, he's used all of his. Um... He's only got one card left. So... Oh, he's only got one card left. So that means I can go into Houndoom, get rid of it, and I've won the game. So very, very. Oh, wait. Can't attack though, can he? No, he can't. No energy. Shit. No, no energy. No energy. He hasn't got any energy. Pretty sure he didn't have any energy. It should be game right now. He got free retreat. Yeah, but he can't attack though, can no, he? No. And that should be game then. Wow. Very, very nice game there. And I should be able to draw into an energy. Um, should I see if I get the Lysander here by discarding this energy? Got the Megas, don't need any of them. So basically I've won the game. I'm gonna uh, retreat here. Oh, wait, retreat. Go into the Houndoom. And then use Melting Horn to discard his last card. So when it goes to his turn, it's game over. So very, very nice game. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I will have another one on this same deck to show you, obviously show off the Mega Houndoom a little bit more than I have done today. Obviously it's quite a tough game and I had to adapt to obviously win. So that's why I didn't show it off as much. Yeah, you didn't draw anything for a while. I know, I mean, Houndoom came in and obviously took out the, um, well, made me win the game, obviously, because of the first attack. So very, very vital. Obviously, Giovanni's scheme. I'm going to have a look through the deck to see if I do run the Lysander, because I really, really do need one. And I may, may, maybe I should have battle compressed it out at the start, obviously. So when if you, I'm, I'm probably going to, in, in the future videos, is always battle compress about the Lysander just in case a situation like that where I could have Lysandered in his shaman obviously knocked him out. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed his luchas properly. Um, obviously nearly won the game for me. Took out both of my uh, my houndooms, didn't he? Yeah. I could. I, I, I didn't. I, I didn't draw into any mega houndooms, so that's very. That, that's. Lich is very good. overpowered though. Yeah, it's a good card. So sorry if you didn't like the video. Hope I hope you did. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being on the channel once again. Anytime. And tomorrow we'll have the same deck. Might do a few tweaks to it and then, obviously, get a few more matchups. Yep. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.